hey guys what's up what's going on welcome back to kitchen tonic welcome back to another brand new tasty recipe on the channel welcome 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 in this video here today we're going to be making a trinidadian staple or trinidadian classic guys and that is as you can tell from the title aloo pie guys now aloo pies is just another name for potato pies guys because aloo is actually the indian word for potato so so just to clarify that real quick Alu pies, potato pies, same thing. Now what we're going to begin here, we're going to start off with making our dough here and then we're going to go ahead and prepare our potato filling. Okay guys, so what you're going to be needing here for the dough, we're going to be needing about 2 teaspoons of yeast as well as 2 teaspoons of baking powder. I'm also going to be using half a teaspoon of salt as well as two cups of all-purpose flour and roughly around one and a half cups of water now of course the water is just a rough estimate so that's just a guideline one and a half cups use one and a half cups as a guideline but feel free to adjust that to more or less as needed now you want to make sure that you add your water slowly because of course it is easier to add than to remove so Without further delay, let's jump right into making this dough here and this recipe. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I have my two cups of all-purpose flour. And basically, we're just going to be combining all of these ingredients here. And then we're going to be kneading this dough here. And then we're going to set it aside to rest. So, this is my half a, cup, half a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of yeast now the yeast i'm using here is actually quick rice yeast but you can use regular yeast if you so prefer now i'm just gonna go ahead and mix these up a little uh, of course i'm using my hands here use whatever is available to you all right just go ahead and mix this up a little and i'm gonna go ahead and begin pouring my water in this bowl here and like i said Make sure that you pour your water very slowly because it's easier to add than to remove. Alright guys, so after you finish kneading your dough there, what you're going to go ahead and do, you're going to go ahead and set it aside for around 30 minutes to give it some time to rise and to double in size. So, we're going to go ahead and set this dough aside for now and we're going to go ahead and begin working on our potato filling or our aloo filling whatever word you want to use to describe it it is called aloo pies by the way but just so that there's no confusion i might be interchanging the words potato and aloo same exact meaning same exact concept okay so i'm going to go ahead and place a damp piece of towel over my dough here damp piece of paper towel and we're going to set that aside for 30 minutes while we work on our filling for this aloo pie here all right guys so here we are we're going to begin preparing our potato or our aloo filling for this pie here today so what we're going to go ahead and do what you see on what you see on your screen there is my pot that i have some olive oil in that's about one and a half tablespoons and now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and add some cumin seeds into my pot here. And we're going to roast these for about a minute. You don't want to keep it too, roasting too long because you don't want it to burn or anything. And cumin seeds can burn very quickly. So we're not going to keep those seeds roasting for too long, guys. I should also mention while these seeds are roasting here, I also went ahead and boiled my potatoes i already have my potatoes set aside here that we're going to be using for this recipe here i went ahead and boiled them no specific way, way or to boil these potatoes here but you do want it to be nice and soft because you want to be able to smash it to a nice smooth consistency that you see here so that is to say that i did over boil them a little bit so that there wasn't any hard lumps or clumps or any hard pieces of potatoes in my mixture there i'm gonna go ahead and add some onions into my pot here and what i have in my 
on this board here is about half of a medium to small onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to your pot as well. Mix those up a little. We're gonna go ahead and let my onions here saute for about another minute or so and then we're gonna continue adding a little bit more ingredients. All right guys, after adding your onions in the pot there, I'm gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic in my pot here as well and that's half a teaspoon of minced garlic that I'm adding here. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do right away, I'm gonna go ahead and add my potatoes, my mashed potatoes into this pot here. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do as well, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt. I'm adding about half a teaspoon of salt to my pot here. You can add salt based on your taste or your liking. Our salt and, pe and our pepper for taste or to your liking. All right, and after adding my salt there, I'm gonna now go ahead and add some cumin powder into my potatoes as well. And the amount of cumin powder I'm adding here is one teaspoon of cumin powder. Let's go ahead and get this nice and mixed in here. All right guys, at this point you can go ahead and taste for like I said, salt or pepper or anything else that you feel that you might need to add. You can also add a little bit of pepper to this recipe, hot pepper to this recipe if you so please. But right now I'm going to turn my stove off here and then I'm going to allow my dough to rise. I have about, I have another 14 minutes to wait for my dough to rise there. So we're going to go ahead and wait on that and then we're going to come back and bring this recipe full circle. All right guys, so here we go. As you can see there, my dough has doubled in size. And what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're going to roll this dough out into a cylindrical shape and then we're gonna divide them into eight equal parts as you can see there my dough is nice and soft just as we like it just as we want it now what I'm gonna go ahead and do here I'm gonna flour my surface just a little of course you want to make sure that your surface is clean I've disinfected my surface here and what I'm gonna go ahead and do now like I said I'm gonna roll this dough out into a nice cylindrical shape all right guys and now we're gonna get around eight pies from this recipe here all right guys so what i actually got from this recipe here is seven different pies that we're gonna be making in this recipe here if you can squeeze the recipe to get in eight to ten feel free to do you so basically what we're gonna do here we're just gonna go ahead and roll our dough into a nice ball and then we're gonna go ahead and sit them aside once again for about 10 minutes in order to allow them to rise once again. So you're just gonna go ahead and roll them into a ball, just like so. And you're gonna go ahead and sit them aside. I'm gonna place mine right on the counter here. And I'm gonna allow them to sit for about another 13 to 15 minutes so that it can rise once again before actually completing my recipe here all right guys so it's been about 15 minutes so far as you can see here my dough has risen once again so what we're gonna go ahead and do now we're just gonna flatten them out a little bit you want to make sure that you're flattening mostly the ends and leave a lot of cushion in the middle because that's where we're gonna be placing our potato filling or our aloo filling there as you can see my dough is still a little sticky as well you do need that stickiness in order to adhere and close this pie up you're gonna need some stickiness to the dough all right so as you can see I flattened my dough there and I have my aloo or my potato filling that we made earlier of course you don't want to overdo it too much and basically what you're gonna go ahead and do, you're just gonna go ahead and close up the middle of this dough here. So you're just gonna take your fingers and you're gonna be squeezing the edges 
and make a nice tight seal. And that is where the stickiness comes, comes in handy. All right, guys, you're, going, you're then going to take your hands and you're going to flatten out this aloe pie just like so. I should also mention that I already have my oil on my stove there heating up and we're going to go ahead and begin frying up these aloe pie. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more and then we're going to jump over to my stove there where we're going to begin frying up these aloe pie. So like I said, you're going to flatten out the dough once again. Make sure that you're paying more attention to the edges because you want to make sure that there's enough cushion in the middle to hold your aloo or your potato so that it doesn't start breaking open or anything like that. So try to focus more of your energy on flattening the edges and leave a little bit of cushion in the middle to hold our aloo or our potato. Now go ahead and take a nice healthy scoop of potato. Place that right in the middle or in the center of your dough there. And then we're going to go ahead and close this dough up. Just go ahead and give the edges a nice squeeze and seal this dough up. Okay guys, and then take your fingers and flatten it out. Because we have the yeast and the baking powder in there, this is going to fluff back up, right back up during the frying process. You do want to make sure that your dough here is sealed so that it doesn't open back up in the frying process as well. All right, guys, all right, guys, all right, guys. And here we have it, the final product, or my finished aloe pies, guys. This aloe pie is nice and soft and very tasty, of course. Now, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to try this recipe here. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you another time, another day, with another brand new video. Dig in.